Hey guys, you remember this? My boy's go kart. Had the uh, two scooter motors in tandem. Not anymore. This has been a while. We uh, had this sitting away for a while. Boy wasn't playing with it. And it got a little rust on it. So we're going to scrape some of that off and uh, get it painted up. But more to the point is if you guys remember the uh, Barstool scooter, that guy had this motor and got close to pretty much pretty close to 40 miles an hour when me and my brother clocked it. So we're moving that power over into a go kart and uh, we're going to try to step it up a little bit in power supply and go lighter. We'll see how we fare with uh, Prius, mo Prius modules, battery modules. So uh, we'll be hooking these up uh, in, uh, in series to get the respective voltage we need to run this motor. Uh, I don't have a rating on these things as far as amp hours, average. Um, that's the one big question mark. I haven't been able to find much information. At least I haven't dug enough into the internet to find that kind of information but uh, these are uh, 7.2 volt modules and I'm going to use uh, seven of them so the rest of them are inside um, so right now last night we uh, welded up the mount itself so we didn't have a sheet big enough so we had to uh, join two sheet metal pieces of sheet metal together well not actually sheet metal but uh, quarter inch uh, eighth inch a quarter so we've got to change out the sprocket on that guy which means the wheel comes off bearing comes off those four screws come off but the way this is built the nuts are on this end so the whole Smash has got to come apart to actually just change the one sprocket. Welcome guys, so uh, my mistake, I should have did a bit more research on these batteries before I end up buying them. Turns out that uh, they're rated at 7.2 volts, 6 volts, um, 7.2 top, 7.6 charge, however, discharge rate is about 6 amp hours. Yeah, for something that's going to run at 90 amps, yeah, so, got my eye on some batteries, we're going to change them out, uh, it is another module, but it's uh, rated at uh, 50 amp hours, or 47, something like that, at 70, 47 volts, so, we're going to change that out. Uh, they're not the same type battery, so uh, we're going to have to probably do some modifications on the, the mounting for it. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I did get a brake light for this, but I still have to wire it up, wire it up, and that's what this bundle is for. Uh, just some spare wire, really. Uh, all I need is three, actually two lines. But uh, I just uh, left the whole bundle because it comes like that. So it just takes too damn long to strip out two wires. So we'll just leave it like that. We'll probably integrate the other uh, wiring into the whole loom so it'll emulate, uh, eliminate some of the loose stuff there. So like the uh, some of the power switching back and forth and like the uh, the Virac for the. Uh, for the power for the for the pedal and everything 
Uh, yeah, it's a mess. Um, uh, there's another end, end of sorry, excuse me, other end of that wire. So we will be like some of these will be changing out to I'm just keeping in one loom and eliminating a lot of the loose wiring. Uh, got some new lights. The other lights uh, were halogen lights, and they blew out when my uh, power regulator failed uh, for some reason. It's crazy, but uh, I got a more hefty one, one for a golf cart. Uh, it's rated at uh, 12 amps. And these are some like cool LED lights. These things are pretty dang bright, so uh, no problems with that at night. I also changed up the steering because while they are rated at six and a half hours, they do put out power for a while. And uh, when I first test drove this thing, I was like all over the place because unlike other go karts, this has a differential on it. So with the steering being kind of the way it was, it uh, was kind of all over the place, a little scary. So I put in a rack and pinion so it stays locked in better. Yeah. 